Galley, a wildlife biologist with the Department of Fish and Wildlife, and I lead the pygmy rabbit uh, recovery effort. So we are out here at our Sagebrush Flat uh, wildlife area here in southern Douglas County. Uh, we have a population of endangered Columbia Basin pygmy rabbits here uh, that we have worked to reintroduce over the last decade. This was actually the last place the truly wild pygmy rabbits uh, were in the early 2000s and then they became extirpated. Uh, but not before we caught a couple and entered them into a captive breeding program. And so most of the rabbits we have today um, are descended from that effort. And so uh, we have been largely successful reintroducing them to this site. And now we uh, have wild free ranging pygmy rabbits in their former range. And every year we kind of see their population go up or down and um, expand. And so we're going in the uh, right direction. Now we are up against kind of a new emerging threat of rabbit hemorrhagic fever. It's not endemic uh, to North America and so it has been introduced here in a uh, highly uh, deadly disease where it can kill 70 to 90 percent of rabbits that it comes in contact with. So we are lucky that we have um, secured a vaccine with our veterinary staff. Um, and we are here today trapping in our population, trying to trap a number of rabbits where we will give them the vaccine against hemorrhagic disease. Uh, yeah, they're just kind of a, an interesting little critter. Uh, they're the only rabbit in North America that digs its own burrow system. Uh, and it's the smallest rabbit species in North America. And so it uh, tends to be the um, cutest rabbit species, we're pretty sure we can conclude that. And uh, yeah, they're just kind of a unique critter we get to work on.